Seattle two zero six seven two three here, guys, uh, with a uh, update on silver, and I wanted to throw in uh, a little mix of the uh, prices of food uh, and what's happening out here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I recently just picked up this uh, roll of twenty five Canadian Maple Leafs two thousand and ten uh, coins. Very nice. Um, Set of coins. Uh, uh, they, they, I picked them up for about uh, 1024, uh, 1020. Uh, the the, the spot, spot prices for these are going for about four dollars and twenty five cents. Um, so I would definitely recommend to you guys uh, some of the uh, dimes and nickels. I mean dimes and quarters, uh, 1964 and, and below date. Uh, you can definitely save a little bit of money there, but I. I didn't have a roll of uh of uh Canadians uh maple leaves in my in my uh, supply so now I have one. Um another thing I wanted to discuss with you guys briefly tonight is is that um I got a a a, a message from uh, one of my subscribers and he's one of my younger guys and he was says what what makes you so sure on silver? Um you know, oh, why why buy physical metals? And you know, everyone talks about what's going on about the economic system and what's happening and um, everything else. And what partially what brought me to seek even more answers and to uh, really get the really get to the to the to the gist of it, to the bottom of it, is is that. I work outside. I work outside sales um, to make a living. Um, so I I work in a field in the area where I probably go to a hundred doors a day. Um, King County, Pierce County, Snohomish County, and I've been doing this for a while, and I haven't seen it this bad out here in a. I just haven't seen it. There's a lot of pent up anger and tensions behind doors because of what's going on. Um, money's tight. Um, with a lot of families, and I, I, I work in an area where, you know, uh, we try to save them some money by putting, you know, putting them in a better situation. But because I'm actually out there and I'm talking to the common people, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in their homes. Um, I'm actually uh, getting a feel and a read for what's going on in there with their financial situations. I can tell you without a doubt that investing in physical metals is bar none the best way to go about things, period, period. I'm talking real pent-up anger, tension in the air. And you can cut it with a knife in some situations when you're sitting there and uh, one person's out of a job, the other person's working part-time with both people out of a job and uh, things are looking like they're about to get cut off and, um, you know, here's the sales guy sitting here, you know, uh, going over a situation and trying to see what he can do to, to save you a little bit of money. You have to walk a tight line there. But the tension is definitely there. Um, it's unbelievable. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll say that, and I will say that investment in physical metals is where you want to be. Um, okay, now that we've, we, we've kind of covered that point and, you know, went over that, Oh, yeah, by the way, Christine Gregoire is retiring. She's not going to run for a third term, she says. Well, not retiring. She's not going to run for a third term in office. So she's getting out of here before the, before the collapse hits this area. Um, one thing I want to show you guys is that high prices, a boom for state farmers. This is from the uh, Seattle Times uh, paper. And... This was, you know, one of the front pages in the business section, and they talk about the uh, boom and uh, prices of food. Food prices are going up. 
they've gone up 20%, then they go up another 20%, then another 15%. And that's all it's going to translate into feed and things like that for farmers and the cost of your meat and the cost of transportation for 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 some of the fuels as far as the uh, you know green energy uh, green energy uh, uh, fuel. So look for more rising prices in uh, in foods. That's on the way. Um, that's going to happen. Um, it's pretty evident uh, if you've got some farmland and kind of got some, uh, you know, things like that that set aside and you're working it, you're going to do quite well in this. Um, so if you own some of this, I suggest uh, also you look at, like, Costco recently. They've got a, a, a bunch of survival food, a bunch of survival food in Costco's now. Um, you know, barley, rolled oats, wheat, um, honey. Honey is one of those things. I think you can pick a bucket up, bucket up of honey, and that stuff just lasts forever. Period. Um, and you can stock that away. But I would definitely start with you know beans, pinto beans, wheat, rice, um, rolled oats, and then move on to uh, the honey and stuff like that. Um, with the cost of foods going up, that, that's what you want to. That's where you want to be there. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short. Don't like to make them over uh, six minutes or so, guys. So I'll I'll end up doing a few more this week. Um, and please stay tuned. Please subscribe. Please uh, you know, vote. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Good night.